Brooklyn Independent Television.
Thank you. Thank you so much.
Ladies and gentlemen, Caltef African Dance Company and School of African Dance. Give them a round of applause. My name is um, Jen Celestin and I'll be doing a poem um, on behalf of the Haiti Culture Exchange uh, that pretty much makes sure that artists like me, I'm a part of a bigger art, uh, network of artists um, to perform um, around New York City, um, to spread Haitian culture, um, Haitian American perspectives, if you will. So it's a very new poem, um, hence the mic stand. It's called, She Didn't Come Down. She didn't come down as hard as she could have. You know that, and I know that. But the fear mongers will have you all mixed it, stood up, believing it's the end days. I could have told you that from the worth of my grades. The high pay I was expected to make after I accrued degrees. Sat with white boys with knobby knees. Now I'm on a four train with knocking knees. My hands I squeeze, trying to bring them back from this deep, tingling freeze. We are nurses, janitors, waitresses, and security guards. Blue collar workers in our working class garb. Cruising through these tunnels recently unclogged with brown, mangy water. Now bogged down with plastic bottles, rubber and general city life to debris because one thing's for sure, rent don't give a damn about Sandy. I wanted her to come down, shower down, raining in all her glory. I had visions of floating up to fourth floor windows and holding on to the ledge. Hypothermia setting in while I sardonically pledge. My country tis of the sweet land of liberty, of the I sing. I wanted it to come down while I led a song for America. America the beautiful, America the free. In my pre-K reverie where they taught me this melody, I hear a fifth grader whisper. America's a pussy. Looking into the downcast faces on this chugging four, I couldn't agree more. Hyphenated Americans, only hyphenated Americans. Immigrant citizens, what we do it for. West Indian Americans, African Americans, Asian Americans, Latin Americans, second-rate citizens in New York, walking over bridges, biking over more, because work don't stop, not for us poor New Yorkers. Our class struggle never made clearer until we saw which news was deemed dearer. That building on 8th Avenue and 14th with the side ripped off to reveal the Ikea beds and their crisp sheets would have had you thinking that was the reality of the entire street, but it was and is the only building on the block to receive such a calamity. All the others stand erect as if in a parody. The headlines read, Building Facade Collapses in New York. And in small print, another tragedy in Brooklyn, Queen, you don't know. But where are the pictures of Rockaway, the nursing homes that evacuated too late and were forced to send our elderly into the storm? Some of our people are still missing with no medication and nothing but their nightgowns to keep them warm. I waited for the news story of Coney Island. Surely there were Im images that hearkened us back to the glory days of the cyclone. New Yorkers coming out in droves to beat the heat in our foamy ocean zone. That would have been a great pull for emotion. Great TV. Instead, we see images of the city folk coping, having to move into hotels. Hmm, your wounds must be wide open. I waited for the reporter, reporting live in Red Hook, waiting, her hair flailing out from under her waterproof hood, her words clear as ever, trained for such work in this weather. But no, no word from her or from my Red Hook fam. They are to be forgotten. As part of New York's master plan, inspired by the master builder Robert Moses of New York City's highways, bridges, and public housing prisons. Now, doesn't it make sense? How hard is it to get to Red Hook with your $2.25? You're not supposed to be there. The BQE runs right through it, don't stop or even look through it, leave behind the perceived dregs in those high-rise ruins. And so I wanted her to come down, shower down, shower down in your glory, oh, capsizing the city, bringing rise to our fury, reversing the symbolic order and all that it means to be in this skin. Folks are swimming against the wind, the screams of my nearby kin, bypassing bodies that have already given in. I hear the water gurgling in my ears and I know my eyes are next and then we will glide together towards, but she didn't come down as hard as she could have. I want the people in Chelsea to know, I want the people in Tribeca to know, I want you all to know, I know that you know she didn't come down as hard as she could have. And I'm sitting on this four train, holding my breath in between stops, practicing my glottal stops, bracing and breaking with the rhythm of the train, awaiting the change. Thank you. The idea tonight is, is community coming together, but really fundraising. And it's good to have a song while you're fundraising. Um, this is an old one. It's been used along the way. It's called Roll the Chariot. And I'll teach it to you so we can all sing together. 
We'll roll, roll the chariot along. We'll roll, roll the chariot along. We'll roll, roll the chariot along. And we won't drag on behind. Last line, and we won't drag on behind. Let's try that all together because I don't know about you, but if I was sitting in these seats all night long, I would be ready to join the band right now. So <laughs> we'll roll, roll the chariot along. We'll roll. Roll the chariot along, we'll roll, roll the chariot along, and we won't drag on. That would be good for Manhattan, but um, <laughs> just pointing that out, so it's maybe five or six times as loud. We'll roll, roll the chariot along, we'll roll, roll the chariot along, we'll roll, roll the chariot along, we'll roll, roll the chariot along and we won't drag on behind. All right, I think we got it. We'll roll the chariot along. We'll roll the chariot along. We'll roll the chariot along and we won't drag on behind. We'll roll the chariot along. We'll roll the chariot along. We'll roll the chariot along and we won't drag on behind. If the devil's in the way, we'll roll it over him. If the devil's in the way, we'll roll it over him. If the devil's in the way, we'll roll it over him. And we won't drag on behind. We'll roll the chariot along. We'll roll the chariot along. We'll roll the chariot along. And we won't drag on behind. The collection will help us to roll it along. The collection will help us to roll it along. The collection will help us to roll it along. We won't drag on behind. We'll roll the chariot along. We'll roll the chariot along. We'll roll the chariot along. And we won't drag on behind. We'll roll the chariot along. We'll roll the chariot along. We'll roll the chariot along. I was dreaming became unfamiliar to me. I stood in the shadow of yesterday, alone in the universe of transformation. For that's what it does. I no longer believe the story as true. So now I'm on the memory of my false self. Is it safe here? Is it safe here? To sing a new Must learn. Must learn. 
learn to accept darkness. Our cause to our effect in the destiny we co-create. Is it safe here? She was about 10, and all she wanted was a pink coat. You see, all of her clothes washed away in the storm. And when she and I laughed and digged through a mountain of donated clothes this weekend in a church in the Rockaways, when she found that pink coat, her eyes lit up. And then there was the woman in Coney Island who I met. Her accent was very heavy. I believe she was Russian. You see, she grew up near an ocean, and she emigrated to this country, and she wanted to be near the sea. Because she loved the ocean. But two weeks ago, the ocean turned on her and turned her life upside down. And so when I met her last week, all she wanted was food and a hug. And then there was a black man that I met in Red Hook. And he walked in to this facility and he said, oh, I just want to look around. But I knew he wanted more. You see, it was his pride. But we talked a little bit about hip hop. Yes, Reverend Dyson, Jay-Z. <laughs> and he opened up a little bit. You see, he had been living in Red Hook public housing without lights and without heat and without water. And so all he said to me and he whispered to me is, I need some gloves. I need a turtleneck. I need a sweater. You see, at the end of the day, my friends, my family, all we need is one another. And we really are bigger than the sum of our parts. And that's what makes us so wonderful. But I know here in this neighborhood, in this district, in Fort Greene and in Clinton Hill and in Prospect Heights and in Crown Heights, that I proudly and humbly represent. In this church, after 9-11, this pastor and this congregation and this community, we gave out sandwiches. In this place, when a veteran passed away on the streets not too far from here and he was all alone, 
we raised funds and we buried him in dignity. When the building collapsed on Carlton and this immigrant died, it was this neighborhood who raised funds to bury him. And when Sandy hit, my office was flooded with calls. This is what we do. <laughs> Mutual aid equals social justice. And so I've come here today and we have gathered all of you here today because we want to give to others. And so on behalf of all of the constituents that I represent, on, because, on behalf of all of the talents you see today, on behalf of all of those who dance and who sing and who write and with spoken word, we put our talents on display because we believe in you, we believe in one another. And from the bottom of my heart, I thank you. This is a piece from Color Between the Lines called Draft Riots. On July 13th, 1863, Mobs of mostly white, working-class Irish took to the streets of Manhattan in a protest that turned into a full-blown riot. They were protesting the National Conscription Act. Two of the provisions of that act that were very controversial said that wealthy Americans could get out of service for the war if they paid $300, and it also mandated that African-American men were not eligible for the draft. Bodies burning, no one can sleep. against brother, pit the poor against the poor, going to war, they pit brother against brother, they pit the poor against the poor, going to war, more fire, fire, covers the streets, Not going to go off to war for a country that we must move to. We're not here to serve you. All you can do, what you think is free. $300 for a substitute. I don't have $300. I'm poor. Orphanage is burning. The mayor's office is burning. 
The controller's oh. office is burning. The city oh, city's is burning. City's the mail room oh. is burning. City's the newspaper the is burning. The people the are score. burning. You want war. The city you got war. is burning. The trees oh. are burning. The faces oh. are burning. Black folk are burning. The city, oh. the city is, is burning. Oh. The mail We're not room going is burning. The post office is burning. The, the mayor's office is burning. The streets are burning. Not the trees are burning. You. The people are burning. The city is burning. The city is burning. The city is burning. The union is burning. The union is burning.
Ladies and gentlemen, the Brooklyn Ballet and Youth Ensemble. Make some noise, Brooklyn, one more time! This is what Brooklyn is all about. Brooklyn loves Brooklyn. All right. If you enjoy what you see, it's time to give up some money. We need you to donate some money to the cause. Where's our buckets at? Help us out, Reverend. Please, your people over there. We need some, some help over here. Where's our buckets on this side?
I'm Matthew Brookshire, and I live across the street. Yeah. And, I, and I feel really lucky um, to be here tonight. So I'm going to sing a song um, called Lucky. Some people love to rehearse They see a value in practicing first They know what's coming right after this verse Sometimes I wish I did too Some people plan their whole lives Stick to a system and never think twice Sure on the outcome and it justifies Everything that they do I'd like to think that I'm one of them too But I just got lucky the day I met you I just got lucky the day I met you Some people need to know why Find a reason that they can apply Sometimes the best things fall out of the sky I know this to be true You came and answered at last All the questions that I'd never asked Pointed out all the signs I had passed Bumbling my way through to you And I'd like to think I deserve all that too I just got lucky the day I met you I just got lucky the day I met you But I can learn If you want me to I'll try to be a bit less like me More like somebody who Someone who watches the time Someone who listens and savors each line Someone who's patient and present and kind Someone a bit more like you I'll always belong to the fortunate few I know I'm lucky, I sincerely do I feel so lucky to be here with you
always wanted to tell you always wondered if you already knew oh friend i know your voice anywhere come let's laugh Thank you.
Watch this and other Brooklyn Independent Television episodes online at brickartsmedia.org slash BIT.